<laughs> okay, so okay, welcome back. We are doing the Disney cartoon tier list. This, is, this includes Disney Channel. I'm assuming Toon Disney, Playhouse Disney. Strangely enough, uh, so many good stuff to talk. So, so I guess we want to just get started. Oh, well, we should probably explain. so here we go. We yeah. have got S A B C D E F. Wow, we got an extra one here. E, never seen never and seen, barely remember. Barely remember. Now. I am going to stress something right now. Um, just before the beginning of this episode, remember, I did not have Disney Channel growing up. I only had Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. So all the shows that I'm going to be able to talk about on this list is specifically because I have seen a couple episodes or I've seen them on Disney Plus or something like that. You know, I've I never owned it as a kid. But I've watched a lot of it as a kid. Okay, so we got, first off, we got Sophia the First. Never seen it. Never seen. No. Disney sing-alongs. Oh, we got to give that at least a B. Like, yeah, I get, yeah like, I mean, it's, it's a recycle show, but I mean, it's a good But, recycle. you know, like if you're a kid when you were growing up we had and you had a music class, they would always bring in the TV and put a tape in. That's yeah. easy. Like, I own a ton of those tapes. Just I know. So, so it was much. so much fun. Uh, Super Robot Monkey Team, High Force Go. That's also a B. I thought it was a good show. I didn't think it was great by all means. But Never heard of that. What was it called? Super Robot Monkey Team, Hyper Force Go. It was a, Damn, that gets a B just for the name. <laughs> oh, it was a great... It was a fun show. It had Corey Feldman as one of the monkeys. It had Greg Sipes as a... Little Einstein. Never seen it because I didn't... Anymore. Brandy and Mr. Whiskers is an A. I love so Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. It's that show. Never mind. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it was really funny, and it had Kelly Kuko as Brandy. Yeah. Future. Future. Never seen that one. Never seen I want to go back to Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. Again, love that show. Two seasons. Really fun. Really funny. Um, I had... watched all of Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, dude. Goof Troop. A, that son of a bitch. I wouldn't say S, but A, you know, I loved Goof Troop. It was the, one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh. Handy Manny. Never seen. Yep. Never seen that one either. Bob the Builder. Yeah. Well, I always made the joke. It was like, yep, Handy Mandy, uh, uh, he uh, replaced American workers. House of Mouse. <sighs> I want to, you know, I can't. I don't think Somebody... S, but A, it's definitely A because it's like, it was such a, a massive. I was a huge fan. I even have a uh, repro DVD that has every episode. Well, Blu ray, actually. Oh, really? I love. I would love to watch it because House oh, of Mouse, I did love that I show. Have... I've seen all the Disney. I remember the uh, the Halloween special with the Disney Mickey's House of Villains. Oh, I have that on the video, tape, dude. Vi- when the villains took over, that was a great special. There was also uh, Snowed In at the House of Mouse. That was a great Christmas special. Uh, I did, lo- not to mention you got to see old cartoons, and they made completely new original Mickey Mouse and Donald cartoons for <laughs> yeah. the show. And you got to see old Not ones. to mention, you just got to see a lot of unusual, like from one... And movie just, and an, a, like Peter Pan yeah. could suddenly just go hang out with Dumbo. Yeah. Stuff like that. Great. So, yeah, I would time. say. Lloyd in Space. Never heard of it. It's a C. It was a C show. I, I watched it. I liked it, but it wasn't like good or great, but it was watchable. Missy Mickey Mouse works. I'm going to go B because they didn't they didn't continue it. The, Mickey Mouse works just became House Mouse. Yeah. That's basically what they did. Oh, uh, so it's just this. Yeah, because they were just a new Mickey Mouse. Shorts. Milo Murphy's Law. Uh, I did see a few episodes. It's C. It's not. As, it's basically by the same guys who made Phineas and Ferb. It's not as good as Phineas and Ferb, but it's not terrible either. Motor City. Never seen that. Oh, PB and J and Otter. I did see that. I put that in B. It was also created by the guy who made Doug, Jim Jenkins. Bandy, Randy. I never seen it. I don't know what that is. Is that sucks at AM? Are they counting that? That was a yeah. Are we gonna count that? Oh, are you not? No, 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 no. Answer. Are you not? But that's not Disney though. But it was played on Disney. I guess we could count it. It was played on Disney XD and reruns. Uh, uh that was definitely an A show. It's at AM. Yeah. It was one of the better Sonic cartoons. Um, Lilo and Stitch. Oh, uh, Lilo and Stitch series. I loved that show so much. But it was I like the expansion of the universe. I, I think put it. Been. Yeah, a because like got to see. I remember a lot more of these. It was basically I Hawaiian was. Pokemon. Hawaiian Pokemon is awesome. As a, Tailspin, not as good as Goof Troop. I'm gonna put it in. Bit of it's still good. I'm gonna put it in B. Super high B. 
the the new Avengers of Winnie the Pooh. A, I love that show. Had one of the best openings ever. Gotta get up, gotta, gotta get, get going. going. I'm gonna see, see a friend of mine. mine. He's round and he's fuzzy. I love him because he's just Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh Bear, searching for fun, climbing that honey. Oh, I love that show. I find it funny how I'm wearing a metal T-shirt and I just sung that. Wow. Wuzzles? Wuzzles? I never watched that one. I've heard of it. It was... It was... Uh... Timon, the, the Timon and Punda cartoon, I gotta be honest with you, at best it was B, at worst it was D, so I think C is fair. Yeah. Thing with me is, I think it was a good idea with bad execution. Alright, uh, Donald Duck presents... Never seen it. I, I, re- I, remember I have that. an I remember. edge of memory on it. Good morning, Mickey. Never seen it. I think that was before our time, actually. Yeah, because I the remember... The Little Mermaid Sunday cartoon. Morning. I did not like that one at all. I, I'm going to put it in D tier. Yeah, D- D's fine. Honestly, I'd put it in E. I think, really? Yeah, E seems good. Yeah. Vamp... It's definitely not an F, though. I mean, we... If, Vamparina. I mean, Ariel is in, like, the top five Disney princesses, at least the hottest one, so... Have you ever watched Vamparina? No. Never seen it. Never seen that either. Those are like Disney Junior shows. Never seen that. Whatever the fuck that is. Um. Oh, actually, I'm putting. This oh, is that in Peter Pan Pirates? Pirates? No. Is that, that is the Three Caballeros uh, new show. Oh, really? That's yeah. It's good. It's dude, not like, Peter good. Okay. One hundred and one Dalmatian cartoon. Uh, that was D. Actually, that no. Was... I put it in F. I didn't like that show at all. I I was like about to say I never saw it. So like, never seen that one. The Aladdin cartoon. A lot of people love that cartoon. They have a lot of nostalgia. I don't. I didn't like it that much, but I didn't think it was bad either. It was one of the better shows. I'll see it like yeah, Timon and see. Pumbaa. Because like, there was that weird era where Disney had to make a cartoon based off their movies. And only one I, Dragon and thing, Jake Long. Only one I really did enjoy. Then, we'll, we'll get to that when we get there. Uh, yeah. American Dragon Jake Long. That's S. That was one of the best shows. Okay. We okay. Bad design redesigns of season two aside, the story was still great. It still continued on. American, I wish American Dragon Jake Long got that season yeah. three. I don't know if I wish that or not because I love the show, but I I wish it had one more good season. I know it did. Like I'm I'm okay. With I the love fact. American Dragon Jake Long. It was one of my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's that? Amphibian. Never seen that one. I, I've never seen. I, I mean, I looked at it. I, I think, don't know what that is. Uh, N- never seen it then. I've never seen Big it. Big Hero 6 cartoon. I hear it's fun, but I, I I love the movie, but I've never seen the show, so... Never never seen that. Oh my goodness. You have so seen many. Bonkers. Bonkers is fun. I like Bonkers. Bonkers? I didn't like Bonkers. Uh, it's about... It's, see, it see it. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. This was this one of my... This is amazing. I loved the direct DVD movie uh, origin uh movie I feel like we have to a or s fun fact about that show the uh three-part uh episode where they told the origins of the story that was the last episode they made really they made it because like the goal they had to make the 65 episodes to because they wanted to release they had the episodes done before toy story 2 came out if i'm correct oh but i really enjoyed the show i thought the villains were fun like, i thought the show patrick warburton strangely enough made a good buzz he was fun. A, it. A it. it it's not. A, but I, I did. I hate the fact that they don't want. They want to bury that show. It's all because they're doing that movie that's coming out this year. You ever seen Captain the Jig? No. You know, you know the Lightyear movie coming out this year. That's the only reason why they're burying Buzz Lightyear, a Star Command. Like they, I cannot. They won't put it on Disney Plus. I'm like you. F off Disney. Yeah, dude. They're they're cruel sometimes. Okay, Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. S. That was the best show it's on. So good. Disney. Well. Second best show. We're going to get to the best show later. But. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking Chippendale about. Chippendale Rescue Ranger. A tier, just for the theme song alone. But that was, you know, Chippendale Rescue Rangers and Darkwing Duck and the show we're going to talk about, they were my favorite of the Disney. Mickey Mouse cartoons. I actually really liked those. You know, those mm-hmm. new cartoons. I, I have to There B-tier. were some stinkers, but there were some good. B tier seems right. Yeah. Duh, Disney's Doug. Now, Disney's Not, Doug, I didn't watch Disney. I did watch Disney's Doug. Is it good? Well, um, commercially, it did okay. It did fine. Uh, critically, it did terribly. Uh, even Jim Jenkins says he thinks the Nickelodeon run was better. Uh, but I do kind of have a soft spot for it. Even the first movie, who 
I'm gonna put it in B, honestly. Like I do have a soft spot for it. I objectively it should probably get D or C, but I I'm gonna let my nostalgia See, this is, buy it. You gotta realize this is me and you's tier list. Though. It's not a uh, the Tangled cartoon. Never seen it. I will say this: Rapunzel is one of my favorite uh, Disney princesses. Gravity Falls yes. is one of my favorite. Yes, yes, so one of the good. best. One shows of my favorite cartoons ever. of all time. Not I just know. Just here. Gravity Falls was one of the best shows. S tier all the way for Gravity Falls. Like, touch hitch away. Original t- Ducktales. Tales. A. Like that was a great show. Oh man, I I, I disagree. It would S for me. Which one should we play? Uh, how about high A? Super high A, then. It'll put it right next to Goof Troop. Yep. Brady and Whiskers doesn't right. belong that high. All right. Scroll down. Okay. I think it, like, books here. Okay, we got L. Okay, never seen Lena. that. Okay, remember how I said, like, that weird era where Disney had, like, a TV show based off their movies? This is the only one I actually did watch a lot, and I did really enjoy. The Emperor's like, New School. Like the New School. School, dude. It was actually really funny. It was genuinely really funny. Like, they had some good jokes. Oh, I see some. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's A. I'd say it's B. I think it's a B show. Ooh. I don't agree with that. Yeah. But I do have a soft spot for it. I uh no no we picked B we're gonna stick with B let's, let's I already be. I already pulled the I already That's pulled the up thing. Doug. I'm like... not gonna do it again for yeah. all right uh what do we got next Fancy Nant and uh, Bear never seen Fillmore Fillmore was an A for me and Fillmore was a really good show I need to watch Fillmore I've Fillmore was it. a fun show it was about these kids in middle school Texas Fish Hooks I did watch a bit of Fish Hooks I, I thought liked Fish Hooks I thought it was B or C. I'd uh, say B. B. I mean, Fish books was fun. It wasn't like yeah. Garg S. S. Gargoyles was, was you say, dude? that was the best show on Disney, yeah. Disney afternoon. Like fun fact, it was. I made, was about to say if you do not S tier that, I'm. What do you think? Gargoyles was only created as an answer to Batman the Animated Series. Like Disney had a, had something that competed with it. Hey, to be fair, that's a damn good answer. Also, <laughs> Disney live action Gargoyles on Disney Plus or at Mo- Get on that. That'd be awesome. Live action gargoyles. I want that. Like, come on, like I I watch that every day. Please. Or like make a make a live action gargoyle series. Like make it more serious. Like the yeah. Overnight Show. Never seen whatever the hell that is. I've never seen the. Oh wait, that's Gummy Bears next. I've seen that. Gummy Bears. That's B. That wasn't the. That was one of the few first. Actually, C. Gummy Bears. I was sucks. about to say no. Uh, the Gummy Bears didn't suck, but it was like average. It was it's stupid. Uh, the Hercules, Hercules cartoon. I think I liked it, but it's not the greatest. It's weird in continuity. Uh, C is fine, but it did have. I, I, yeah. All right. I stand it alone as good. JoJo Circus. I did watch this one, and I did like it a lot. I'm gonna put it in C. See? Because it was a kids show. It wasn't really special. No yeah. B. It was one of the better ones, though. I, I did. Oh, real quick. You guys might notice, um, this tier list specifically, as I said before, just as kind of a midpoint thought here, Jordan has most to say on this because I didn't have this growing up. Okay, what's next? But as you can see, there is a lot. Jungle, Jungle Club? Cubs? Cubs? Ne- never heard of that. Never, but I've never seen. We have to check into that because that looks like it is some kind of Jungle Book thing. All right. Kick Potowski. That was in. D. What are we, 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 that be our first D? Kim Possible S tier. That was my all time favorite sh- Disney show as a kid. Oh, I yeah. love Kim Possible to this day. Like oh, I only what I like, only just now watched it for the first time ever. I binged the show until it was amazing. yeah. Like I rewatched Kim Possible with, with Josh like a few episodes. We were actually shocked at how good the show was. Mm-hmm. The writing, like some of the comedy, was on fire. And like the, just the story and the characters and just Rufus. And let's not let's forget it has one of John DiMaggio's best roles he ever did, Doctor Draken. And let's not forget Shigo. Mm. That delicious thighs. I know, just the Shigo, Nicole Sullivan. She got I don't know. Anime thighs. But here's the thing: all the women in Kim Possible were baddies. Like you know, Kim herself, um, <laughs> Sneak, even Bonnie. Even though I didn't like her that much, she's too much of a bitch. Okay, Legend of Tarzan cartoon. That was actually one of the better Disney shows. Actually, you know who actually guest starred on that show? I found that Neil Patrick Harris. Uh, but weird thing I'm gonna put it with Hercules. It's kind of the same vein. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of non coincidental that all four of these show up in the same tier. Yeah, they're kind of the same. Uh, okay, Lilo. Wait, what was that one cartoon we did? 
Let's grow up again. Did they count? Did we count it twice? That's what they did. Where? Which one? Oh, I know what that is now. That's not Lilo Stitch. Series. That's the Lilo Stitch anime. I never seen that one. That was, oh, in that case, no. That, that was the Stitch anime. That. that was the Stitch anime. This is Lilo and Stitch the series. That okay, is no, the, this. This is an A again. Hawaiian Pokemon. That I can't. Yeah, uh, Stitch had an anime. anime. Yeah, I think Ben Diskin voice uh, Stitch and Ben Diskin voice number one and number two. In case, uh, never. I don't even know what that is. No, I never say to it. never look at that again. So Shallon Chronicles F. What's uh, Shallon Chronicles? It was. I don't know what to call it because it was technically a sequel to Shallon Showdown. It was in Disney XD. It was made in, exclusively in Canada. But the problem is the show could not decide what it wanted to be. It didn't know if it wanted to be a reboot, like completely we just redo the series, or it wanted to be a sequel because it tried to do, balance both, failed miserably. Only two of the cast members came back because you have to have dual citizenship to voice in a Canadian cartoon. Oh, that's... So they had to get voice matches. And to be fair, a lot of them did try their best. And there were some that sounded exactly like them. But at the same time, nah. But yeah, F for Shadow and Chronicles. I hated that. Wonderful World of Color. I actually watched never, this. Never seen, it. never seen it. And I will give it a C. Take it her was her kind her. of hard to explain. Take it to... never seen it. I hated it. Never, because again, it's kind of unfair to rank the like, kid show, like baby shows, preschool shows. Well, the thing is, I had to sit through a lot of that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. So, Dave it's... the Barbarian. A, what is that? You've never seen Dave the Barbarian. You've got to watch Dave. Homie, again, do I have to remind you? Did not have I know. Disney Dude. or XD. Dave the Barbarian was the closest it came to having like the same humor of Johnny Bravo and Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I say, uh, I say A, because hey. but like it had some of the funniest jokes ever. It's like, like Dave for example, Barbarian, this one. Yeah. There's this one joke where it's like Dave decides to conduct. To, Dave decides to make a megaphone using just just a squirrel and a megaphone. He ties a squirrel to a megaphone. It's like he decides to make a megaphone with those two. But it was a funny show, like Dave the Barbarian. I recommend you that. You got me so curious now. If there's one show on Disney Plus to watch, it's Dave the Barbarian. Mickey Mouse and Friends. And don't know what that is. Mickey Mouse, Club, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That's actually a fine really show for good. preschool kids, yeah. but I'll put C. Tigger and Pooh. Like, I'm going to reiterate on that is I had to watch this with the, my little cousin, and it skewers the Winnie the Pooh. Okay, series. we got... I don't know what this is. Uh, Miles from Tomorrowland. Never heard of it. Monsters at Work. This is the new show on Disney+. Plus. They got... I will give them credit. They did get back John Goodman and Billy Crystal. Never seen it. I kind of want to see it. I can't wait for this. Mouse Tracks. Don't know what that is. Never seen it. Muppet Babies. That's the reboot of Muppet Babies. I'm going to be never, honest. Never seen it. Never saw it. I like Muppet Babies. Yeah. Recess. Recess. Ooh, do we want to give it? The, this is... is it good enough to get the S? Is it good enough to get the S though? But it's a great show. We all loved it. Look, but if if if, if Ducktales is down here, it's got to be down there. Yeah, you know what? That's fair. We'll put it. We'll put an A with. It. <laughs> but Recess was. Yeah. We all loved Recess. Everyone. Yeah. Just because it's not an S there was, does not mean let's it not forget is not the, the movie School's Out. I used to rent. DuckTales, Duck Tales, I did not watch that one. I loved it. Are you going to S it? Never seen it. Are you going to put it in the same vein? Are you going to put it? Are you going to S it right next to the original? Are you gonna, oh, yeah. All right. Let's yep. see. Uh, I don't. Whatever that is. I don't know what that is. I can't. I can't. Um, okay, pickle and peanut. Never seen. I just know that John Heater pulling dynamite voices the pickle. For the record, just for that, I'm gonna give it an E in my mind, but I'm gonna put. I have to put in it. Nightmare Ned. I have the PC game in that, but I never. Ned, never. Shit. Never watched it. Pen Zero. Never watched it. Uh, Pepper, Pepper and I did watch. Oh, that was actually the, the guy who created Kids Next Door, Patrick Warburton, did the art, the artwork, did, did the character design. That's why the. That's why I. Pepper Ann yeah. was a. It was a good show. I put it. In I me. like me some Pepper Ann, dude. Is she, is and Fur, that was the probably the best. It's the two thousands kid show. Yeah, like, like I would honestly S tier for Phineas and Ferb. Oh, most it was certainly. one of their Disney's stronger. Right, a, right alongside Kim Possible. For yeah, me. like Phine Phineas and Ferb. I loved Proud, Proud Family. Never I loved Proud it. Family. I loved it so much. I honestly, I Should think. I? It's, 
Should I watch that? Yes, because they have a new show. They have a sequel show. Prouder, louder and prouder. They, I think I got the original cast. I got to check. Uh, good enough to get the S rank, though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give it the S rank. I'm giving Proud Family. I got it. No, I, I got to watch it. I did love the Proud Family. Al Roker was a villain. Al Roker was a villain? Yes, there was a Wait, No, no, no. NBC. Yes, Al NBC. Roker. Al Roker. Villain. I don't even think that he voiced it, but I think he granted it his likeness. Al Roker, basically, he was kind of like Rumple Stiltskin. Basically, like, uh, key, uh, uh, Penny. Uh, she made a wish that all the all the parents would go away, and he's like, "I'll do it for that." It's basically kind of like the plot of Jimmy Neutron. Oh my god! And she had to beat him. <laughs> and it, oh, it was just for that. Look, Quack Pack F. Mm. I feel like Quack. I will say I did like the one episode. Actually, where... remember the episode where theme song? Yeah, little themes. Remember the episode where uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie were trying to get chicks, but then Donald went into this young age. He started looking like his classic yes. cartoon self. Yeah, never seen. Roly Poly Oli, that that was the. That. Here's the thing, I loved Roly Poly. That was the best uh, preschool like show. That belongs in A. You know yeah. what? How about this for Roly Poly Oli, just specifically and just of a preschool show? I the, think it's an S tier preschool. You know, I think we're right with A though. I think A is fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It, uh, it's Wild West. Don't never seen that. By the way, guys. But barely remember. Oh, the Schnuckles and Meat Show. That's an F. That was just a stiffy knockoff. Not even a good uh, one. Uh, uh. Special Agent Oso. F. I, I didn't even watch No, I didn't even watch it. Never even seen it. By the way, guys, uh, look uh, at that shit that we never seen. I know. And half of them look like I'm glad of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Star Wars Rebels. I never saw that show, but it did have Darth Vader, so I'm going to go ahead and put an A. Are we? Yes, just go ahead. I never seen it, but Look, we're I mean, gonna give it a free pass because it did have Darth Vader. Yeah, okay. Seven A, never seen it. Buzz on Maggie. I actually really love Buzz on Maggie. It's a B. It was a B show. I need to watch that then. It was There's a B. It was so a B. many I need to watch. It. Owl House did not see. Looks. Uh, the replacements. Cool. I actually. I like have the fun. replacements. I like too. I think it's a B. Like no one never talks about the replacements, but. I yeah. I mean I liked it. It was yeah. good. It wasn't great, but one of the runs animations cartoon. I thought we already did that, but F. Where where did we put the other one? Yeah, yeah, F. Just put it put it in F it again. I've never saw that version, but Tots, never seen it. Tron? It had a series? Yeah, I never seen it. Okay. Upright. Uh, this I one coming like up, I have to explain why it's on Star there. Star in the Forces of Evil. Star versus the... Um, I did not watch it. Josh did. He said... But they, I've never seen it. So we, I can't personally vouch for it, but I've always wanted to see it. I hear it's the first few seasons are good, but the last season sucks. Timo like Supremo. I am not... I did so watch a little bit of it, but I barely remember. Put it in barely remember. We do not have a lot in barely Wander remember. Wander Over Yonder. That was created by Craig McCracken. Uh, I said a little bit. Just for Lord Dominator alone in her thick thighs, give it a B. B for booty. <laughs> and not sure she has a great Weekenders? Song. Oh, I actually, I was a big. I never heard of the Weekenders. The Weekenders was like a great show. It was on Toon Disney. We, we would come on after. I actually really enjoyed it. I put it in B. Like, Weekenders was great. It had, a, it had a theme song sung by Wayne Brady himself. Yin Yang Yo. I've heard a lot about Real that quickly show about the well. Weekenders. It was a big hit in Canada, of all places. According to Nitro Rad. What? In that video of Canadian television, he said, like, yeah, Weekenders. Wait, he did a Canadian television? Yeah, like, he just he said how. Oh, that's right, because he is a Canadian. Yeah, he did a video, which is one of my favorite, probably my favorite video, because a I lot of those shows did watch. air here in America, and I'm like, oh, I had to do this stuff. Yin Yang Yo, I did watch that. It was E. It wasn't an F, but it wasn't it, it was just no. okay. I don't. It, it's a, that's the Mary Kay and Ashley cartoon. F. Wait. I watched that cartoon. I barely remember it, and I'm glad of it. <laughs> All right. Uh, what the hell is that? Is that, is that supposed, what the fuck is that? Never, never seen, old. Never seen it. Then. I, okay. I gotta explain this one. Perks the animated series. It is technically a Disney cartoon. You wanna know why? Is it? It was produced by Touchstone Television, which is a subsidiary oh. of Disney. Ooh. And it aired on ABC, but they only aired the two episodes, but then they canned it. And then they had to re air the reruns on Adult Swim and Comedy Central. But it is technically a Disney cartoon. And the reason why it got canceled was because Kevin Smith called the 
uh, head uh, CEO at ABC, a bunch of Mickey Mouse fuckers. Uh, oh, Mickey fuckers, so. Yeah, that's where I got it. Yeah, but Clark's the animated series. Um, I'll put it put it in A. It was definitely one of the, I honestly think it's the best thing Kevin Smith ever did. You know, it's definitely a lot funnier than anything he's ever done. And it holds up better than most of his other work. Oh, man. But the cartoon is great, but the only reason why I'm not giving it an S is because, again, it's only six episodes. If it had gotten another season, it probably would have been an S for me. Oh, man. Dumb and Dumber heard a cartoon. Never heard? Never heard. Never seen it, man. Uh... The Wizard of Oz, never Bucks. seen it. Never seen. What the fuck is that? Never yeah. seen. The Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. Hey, I'm not going <sighs> to meme here with you. I want to at least be it. I want to be it because it did have Tony J, the guy who voiced uh, Frollo as a villain. And it had Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Put it in C. C, Tim you know Curry. What? As ridiculous as it is, it is technically a bad <laughs> cartoon, but you know what? As ridic- it's, I love it. Come on. The real Ghostbusters? Ain't that crap. I didn't even know that was canon, but sure, let's say it. I didn't even know that was a Disney cartoon, but if it's on here. Madeline. Madeline was actually a pretty good show for kids. Wait, wait, wait. Where's Stanley? I would, wait, wait, what? There's no Stanley on here. The kid who, like, every time he looked yeah, at his yeah, book, yeah. he would pick a letter and find an animal. Like, no Stanley? No. Madeline, though. <laughs> Off track. Uh, hey, Madeline. I barely remember Madeline, but I do remember it. I remember it slightly fondly, but I do have to D it because I do not remember. Schoolhouse Rock gets the S because it's the best educational thing ever. Yep. You know, just I actually have the full, just like um, um, with Gravity Falls, I have the full series over there with every episode that ever existed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Science Court, Science never seen Court, it. Never saw it. Okay. Let's run through the list. Uh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, oh, I'm actually fine with that. I think this works out great. Um, it kind of blows my mind, because here's the thing. I know, I had to, I had to really get dig deep. I'm like, I gotta get the proud family of the yes. I had to re- as soon as I remembered Al Roker being the villain, I... God. I have a lot of fond memories of the proud family. There is quite a few here. Like, Fillmore never saw it, never saw a single episode. Well, of this list should let you know what to watch. Yeah, I have so much to do with but... Let's just, here's the thing. I think, real quick, just thinking on this technically, is there are so many never scenes. That is because they shit, like, so much series out all at once. It seems yeah. that way to me. Well, Disney has the resources to do it. I mean, to be fair, yeah. But, like, look yeah, how many could... this is. I know, so. You've never seen uh, it. Well, this is it. Um... I hope you guys have enjoyed this three-parter on the ranking. This one is actually the least no. amount of cartoons we are able to do in this whole entire three part. Please note, we're still going to live stream, but we are going to. Um, this is where we call it place on this video.